In this first video, I will learn you how to modify your BMW E19 163 horsepower injection map. We will need a software program like ESM Titanium or Winol S or Swifttech or any other software. I will use ESM Titanium. You must turn on your program ESM Titanium right click run as administrator ok the program will pop up we will see original EPROM and modified EPROM in original EPROM you will see your original map just click browse to browse for your original map that you already read it from your car with Galetto, Kes or any other tool go to your original map BMW tuning software E19 E19 163 horsepower original map and double click it do you want to browse the database? yes now we'll see your map here just double click it yes and in this video we'll modify the injection map we must modify the injection at part throttle injection, rail pressure and fuel during acceleration. Just double click at injection at part throttle. A pop-up like this will show you with a lot of numbers. Don't be scared, it's not so hard. Just click on 2D graph window and your map is on. Ok, you must know some values to the right values to modify your map. From my experience, the value for injection at part throttle map is 7%. Click on percent here, highlight it, go to 7, and enable multiplier selection. Just click it. Ok, now we can start to modify the map. Now you must go to 2100 RPM rotation per minute and 16 loads. Right click here until 100 loads. Repeat the procedure. 16 loads. 16 loads. 16 loads 16 loads 16 loads and 16 loads now you just push the page up button from your keyboard after you push it you will see the blue lines here that's mean this section of the, the map this one and this one and this one will be modified with a difference of 7% you can see the difference here 7% 0 7% 0 7% 0 7% 0 and so on that's all from the injection at part throttle map. Just hit the close button, save and exit, OK. Close button. Now you have an OK button here, that means your injection at part throttle map is modified. Next step, go to injection map. Again, double click it and go to 2D graph window. Here. Just click it. Now we have the map for the injection. We will start to modify the injection map from 2500 RPM uh, here and 69 loads here. 
enable the person button, enable the multiple selection button, and set the person button to value of 3. And now we can start modifying. 69 load until 100. 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69 go forward, and 69. Again, we must push the page up button from our keyboard. After we push it, we will see again the blue lines. That means this section was modified. This one, this one, this one, and so on. Zero, three person. Zero, three. Zero, three. That's all for our injection map. Click the close button, save and exit, OK, and close. Now we go forward for rail pressure map. Here we see number 3. That means our 3 real pressure map. Just double click it. Again, go to 2D graph window, click it and we'll see the rail pressure map. This is the first one, rail pressure map 1 from 3. If you go forward, you will see 2 for 3. And if you go forward, you will see 3 for 3. You must modify all 3 maps. Go to the first one, rail pressure map 1 from 3. The right value for rail pressure map is 3%. We'll start to modify it at 2000 RPM and 65 loads. Here. Again, press the person button and go to 3. And press the enable multiple selection. 2000 RPM, 56 load, right click here, until Osuta, 100 load, again, 56, again, again here, same here, same, 56, 56, until 4500 RPM. This is rail pressure map 1 from 3. Go to the next one. Rail pressure map 2 for 3. Same procedure here. 2000 RPM, 56 load, 56 load, same here, same here same here, go forward, same here, 56, 56, this is rail pressure map 2 from 3, go forward for rail pressure map 3 for 3, again 2000 RPM, 56 load, 56 load, 56 load, 56 load, same here, same, same here, and again. After you finish this, you must press the page up button from your keyboard again. You will see the blue lines and the red lines here. That means those section was modified. Zero. 3%, 0, 3%. You must look here at the difference. 0, 3%, 0, 3%, 0, 3%, and so on. 
That's all for rain pressure map. Just click close, again save and exit, OK, and close. You have the OK button here, that means the rain pressure map was modified. Now we go forward and modify the fuel during acceleration map. Double click on fuel during acceleration map. Again, go to 2D grab window, <coughs> click it, and we'll see two maps. This is map 1, fuel during acceleration map 1 from 2, until here, and here it starts the second map, fuel during acceleration map 2 from 2. If you go forward, you'll see it's until here. Okay, this map. The correct value for this map is 11%. Again, hit the person button, set it to 11, and enable the multiplier selection. We'll start modifying the map from 1500 RPM. and 75 loads. Right click here until Osuta load, 100 loads. Right click, 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 75 load again, right click. Go forward and start again. 1500 RPM, 75 load. Right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, 75, 75, 75, 75, 75. We have selected 11% and now just click, just push the page up button from your keyboard. Again we will see the blue lines, that means this section was modified. Again look at difference here, 0 0%, 11%, 0%, 11%, 0%, 11%, 0%, 11%, 0%, 11%, 0%, 11%, and so on. This is the fuel turning acceleration map 1 and map 2. Just close it, save and exit, OK, close it. That's all from for this video. Stay tuned. In the next video I will modify the turbo map.